on the chess and twitch astrobeat what is going on our most faithful viewer in the whole world good to see you you're out of your mind to trace c4 no i mean it's the sicilian with an extra move how wrong can it go But the thing that doesn't make sense is like you're playing, can we analyze this board? See here, you're playing c4, e5, knight c3. I played bishop b4. But with black, you're playing e4, c5, knight f3, g6. There's nothing to pin if I go like bishop b5. <laughs> So you were actually not sure what to do with your extra move, as right after c4 here. You should just play g3. I mean, if you want to be consistent with what you play with black, you would play g3 here. And just play the hyper accelerated dragon with an extra move. The knight on c3 isn't a bad move. It's like the main line, but you've got to be prepared here, here, here. This is actually the best move. C6 takes, takes, takes. And then I misremembered. I thought this was considered superior. This is popular in the 90s. But it looks like queen takes a5 has a better score. I haven't analyzed this. Nah, it's close. Queen takes a5, e4. D6. White is generally a little bit better here. But you are in an alien position, Astrobate. Understandable. An alien position. Snuggles the snail is here. You missed a great simul stream yesterday, Snuggles the Snail. We had tier tier three hype train cooking rooks is here what cooking rooks should be resting for for work and family you're you're, you're keeping acerbate hours cooking rooks um all right guys sunday night is always like rough for me i have trouble going to sleep after simuls my mind is like won't slow down it's always hard to get started on. Really hard to get started. Super hard to get started on Monday morning. I'm gonna take challenges. I got Ludwig AC and Dominor B. So technically, technically the players who are subscribers should get the first challenges. Oh, you're on vacation. All right. Subscriber challenges first. Guys, I've got a two hour blitz stream. Then I gotta go. Alright. You forgot to say about homework. You had homework. Alright. No, awesome, man. Good to see Cooking Rooks. J. Jow, Cooking Rooks. Hype Train Conductor, Current. Acerbate. Acerbate, you lost your Hype Train Conductor ship. Alright, guys, I was just analyzing a little position here. I don't know that anybody's a subscriber among the challengers, so I'm just going to take these challenges. See if the old brain is working. I'm super sleepy. I've been analyzing Karo Khan. Boom. I don't fear the exchange on d5. You know what's messed up? All right. I was thinking about this yesterday. I play the Karo Khan. If I play online, like none of you guys play the main line. Um, 
Do I get the Pana of Bafnik or the Advanced Creation or the Two Knights or this kind of London Jabava crap? But if I walk into a normal tournament tomorrow, like I'm going to get bombarded with like mainline after mainline after mainline after mainline. I was thinking about it. Like it's especially with Hungarian players. They'll just hammer me with the main line of the Karo Khan. You guys, nobody here plays the main variation. What's up with that? What am I going to do? How am I going to play the Karo Khan in a tournament environment if I don't get to practice how to play the black side of the main line? It's like hopeless. There's like real, there's real openings. And then there's like online openings. And, um, this is like, why would you like this better? It's like completely not testing at all. I guess people are just afraid of theory, but, um, let's see. Every little kid in Hungary who's like eight years old knows... 25 moves of theory in the main line. What is white doing? Queen b6 is, isn't that great? Or is it? <sighs> it's a million dollar question. I've done this queen b6 type of crap. So what always happens is, they defend the pawn and then I've got nothing. But I don't like what you did with your pawn structure. I don't know what White's doing. I mean, why would you play pawn takes f3? You're your bullet player too. 1489 bullet. 500 games. You got mostly blitz. Antonio. Knight b5. Bow down to the one move threat. What is white doing? Now specializing in one move threats. It's a strange way to play chess. Just base your entire game on like continuous one move threats. But it's kind of daunting. Like I can never, I can never do what I want to do. Morales has a little bit of that going on. But I misidentified Morales yesterday. Morales, what did you play? <laughs> I'm not even awake yet. Today's chess. Bullet isn't chess. Um, that's just a waste of time. Obviously, you don't understand my philosophy. The point is that bullet is not chess, therefore I don't play it. It's a waste of time, and it's like a bastard bastardization of chess. It's, it's the end of chess, essentially. It's not educational. Sorry. The, the quality of chess is just 10 times lower because people don't even have time to think, what's the value of that? You really should try to open your mind a little bit, not argue about it. 
try to understand the beauty of, of real chess instead of defending bullet chess. Another one move threat. Does anybody watch Formula One? Um, Schieber Spieler. That's not as boring. I was never really into auto racing. Yeah. You've been awake since last stream, my god. I don't sleep well on... on this morning after the simul. I mean, the night after the simul, it's really hard for me to go to sleep. It's a lot of stress and... Once I finally wind down, then I end up not getting quite enough sleep. So I wake up sort of tired. This is the schedule. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna play Blitz. Subscribers first. Sumahair Miralis. The Indian Rooks challenge me to rated 3-0. 3-0 I consider bullet and I try to avoid it. Simon was okay. I've been getting in a lot of time pressure. Ideally I should make it 40 second increment. I haven't seen a game with a Ludwig AC in I don't know how long, but his play is pretty remarkable. Excellent. Maybe I should have played 94 there. It doesn't work. Wow. All right. Aster made self-made it. That was pretty cool. Not a lot of early finishing games, that's true. Speaking of yesterday, Simon, Queen A2. It's hard to win a chess game. Yeah, I lost two games. One was the Dutch, which went south, although I had good compensation at some point. And the other one was Hey It's Miro, which was a blunder fest. He's here. Congratulations. Are in order.
gemacht. What to say about this, this game? I had Maiden 1. <laughs> this is more elegant, the Maiden 1. Ludwig AC, how much more psychotically aggressive can you play? Um, I don't know, you know. You're like... Playing chess, like, either you win or lose, there's no draws. Completely all in. Like a psychopath in that game. I, w I would say stylistically it's not optimal. Especially against a higher rated player. The way you, like, let your pawn structure go, I mean, this is, this is crazy. To voluntarily play, like, bishop takes, pawn takes, f3. Well, I mean, I don't know. I just try to play the best move, you know. But that's uh, quite aggressive. You're pretty much burning your bridges once you play that move. Like, you're probably strategically lost at that point. And only have tactics to save you. <laughs> well, it's playable, like, depending. You think it's playable against, like, Anatoly Karpov? You probably lose like a hundred percent of the time. It depends on who you're playing. You can forget about end games at that point. All right, Sumaher is a subscriber to the stream, so I'm going to take subscribers first. Is there a stream tomorrow? There is. I have to start. I have to set up the tournament. Llama Cup. Tomorrow night, usual time, tournament at 6.45 CEST. That's 12.45 Eastern. We're going to host, I think, a rapid tournament. I get nervous when I play higher rated players. But honestly, I get nervous at first. And then I sort of settle in and calm down. It doesn't really matter who I'm playing. I think I have sort of performance anxiety in the first beginning part of of a chess competition. And then, like the more you do it, the more used to you you know used to it you get. I, I think in the beginning of games I'm nervous, but then I get calm. Ricely, yeah, we just had a game with that yesterday in my simul I drew eventually but I was better I think the the I would play the the Leningrad if I had to choose from Black's perspective I like the Leningrad personally better than the other variations of the Dutch Man, unfortunately, under my house, they're, they're reconstructing an apartment. My neighbors moved out, and it feels like they're tearing down the whole thing. I thought it was, like, completely in good condition. I didn't expect them to be doing, like, major, major renovations. There was, like, a family of five living there, very normally. Thanks, Cooking Rooks. They're like, oh, we're just going to add in a new doorway. But it sounds like there's a huge construction going on. What's up, kick Kicking Rooks? Cooking Rooks. 
front of your building, the building a road. Like, I live in an old building, and so there's, like, every, every freaking apartment is under construction. Plus, across the street, they built, like, these huge, huge buildings over the last two years. I mean, my, my office is, like, every day it's, like, filled with dust. I have to, like, vacuum my room every three days. Because the... The dust in the air is, is just unbelievable. Construction dust. It's probably good good stuff to breathe in. Um in like the course of a week my my room can be filled with this powdery dust. I was thinking, man, it might be better to just like buy another apartment and rent it out until they finish all this construction. Oh, well, they're talking about building and I'm at the roof level and my building is going to like sell space to, to some developer to build like two more apartments on the roof. It'll be a disaster, man. I'll have to move out. <sighs> right now it's not that bad. If they start building another two apartments on my my floor, man, I'll have to I I won't be able to to work here. G4, great. Fortunately, the downstairs construction isn't loud enough to really hear it on the stream. Could be worse. It's actually two floors below me because I'm on a loft level. Wow. Night. <laughs> he played this. Such a sick move. Bishop h6. I don't know about chess olympiads was the last one was anything canceled for covid we're gonna have one here in hungary 2024 so 2024 is already budapest My only chance of playing in an Olympiad would be if I, like, moved to an island country or something.
too passive. Another player who's just far too passive. Passive. They call him the passive master. Really? He's sixteen eighty five in bullet. Alright, what am I doing here? This is pretty bizarre. What's striking is like the perfect coordination of the white position. His perfect positional play. must be playing almost entirely on intuition. There's like total absolute coordination for white, perfect coordination of the pieces. He's probably winning at some point. Yeah. It's like it, brilliant, you know? If only I had a little more time. Check this out. So check this out. F5, Bishop G5, engine number one move. Queen F7, F4, engine number one move. H6, Bishop H4, engines number one move. E takes F4. And now it's very close between these two moves. That's one of the engine's top two moves. And now this is also an engine move. I thought white was just simply going to play bishop, bishop f2 with a clear advantage. But this is also stockfish number one. Knight takes f4. G takes h4. Here, knight e6 is also very strong. Tough to decide. It's pretty insane. Play by white. He made only one inaccuracy the whole game. 
and five blunders. That's pretty strange. All right, next game. Um, we lost someone, I thought. So that was fun. Hey, it's Miro. We just lost someone else. I'm taking the challengers who are subscribers to the stream. Let me know if you're a subscriber. Hey, it's Miro. After losing that simul game, your score is your score is improving. Hey, it's Miro, and I had like 80 to 70 cent upon loss yesterday in a simul game. You ho. You ha helpy. Played poker with him. You ho from Finland. Greetings. Ninety two. Okay, so the ninety two variation. I forgot you played this. Right. Now what? Knight e7, knight e7. So this like clamps down on c5. The traditional sort of counterplay for black, difficult to arrange because it's so difficult to play c5. I guess I should still keep it in my plans. Um, this is pretty much what I start with. I tried I tried to start playing the Carol Khan again, but um, I can't get one game against people who play the main variation here for practice. It's brutal. Just mentioning this. This is advanced. It's either advanced variation, Panov, or or Four Knights. Nobody plays main lines. You played this? I am many times a streamer battle. Oh, you played me in the streamer battle? I, um... I hate that 3-0 time patrol. <laughs> That's not my thing. It's like enhanced bullet chess. I was just talking about how I hate bullet. I don't want time to be the number one feature. I want the position to be the most important thing. That's how I want to play chess. Time counts, but it's second to to playing the board. I never want the time to be more important than the board. Then I don't feel like I'm playing chess. That's why I'm against bullet. You should always be trying to play the best moves. Trying to create something. 3-0 is really, really borderline. I'd rather not play anything faster than 5-0. Maybe 3 plus 2 is okay if you get used to it. Even I play the Panov, but my fear if I ever try to start playing the Karo Khan is that I'm going to get smoked in the main line by little kids who whose Hungarian trainers have pumped them full of 30 moves of analysis. Whatever variation you play, yeah. Yeah, Jula, Jula, Jula is unbelievable. He plays against me in like 3-0 and he's like got no inaccuracies. Perfect game. I mean, even for his ELO rating, his blitz strength is like unbelievable. I mean, I've beaten tons of Grandmasters who were like 2,500 in blitz, but I can't touch him. Like, once I beat him, like 10 years ago in a blitz game. <laughs> That's how my score is against him. But I don't know how he can play so accurately, so fast. But I guess he's kind of a specialist. Doesn't play that much tournaments and, and long games. Probably he could he could be stronger. If he could apply his blitz ability to over the board chess. So 
So lack setup is basically a passive one. Oh, he won against Hikaru in Arena Kings. Yeah, not surprising. Yeah, I'm telling you, I mean, he beats me in bullet, bullet, well, it feels like bullet when I play 3-0. But I had games against Pop Julo where I felt like I can't believe he plays that accurately with only three minutes. Just doesn't make mistakes, period. This guy is good. The one consistent thing I'm getting from my opponents is that they're all absurdly aggressive. Yeah, last game I was getting crushed. But my opening was suspect. It was like a bad old Indian. I mean, it's not a wonder that I had an opponent who was crushing me. He did play some great moves though. Four or five crushing moves in a row to achieve a winning position. Be afraid, where are you? Be afraid, I always forget your Druv goal. I have to get used to names. When people have different names, it always throws me. Yeah, you should play Nax Morales. I try to take the challenges from the... Your bishops are saying They're trying to get out of the way. You, you, these, these guys are just like... They're merely like... Scattered by his pawns. I mean the bishop went to e4 just to like save its life. It's not a matter of attacking him. He has more space due to center. Center. Space center. I mean, I think white is clearly superior with that kind of space advantage. Yuho, thanks for for subscribing. Um, man, I'm I'm in trouble again. F five. Bishop she says. It's possible, but one of my bishops is likely to get trapped. This doesn't look great either. I'm just trying to survive. Hey, Spear doesn't have very good score against me, but lately he's been getting better and better, and I've been getting some bad position against him. His opening play is excellent. He's really put in a lot of work. Well, like if you, please don't suggest moves like while we're on the position walking death um that like gives people suggestions if g5 just don't do that anymore you can say like after the fact or something i don't mind like next move you say he could have played g5 or something but you're basically making a what could be like a winning suggestion for my opponent all right, what do I do here? F takes or D takes? D takes, pawn takes, pawn takes. I used to do that all the time, Antonio, like over the board. <laughs> Shh. Very noise sensitive. It doesn't work as well online. Can I do h6? No, I have to do g6 first. My bishop is almost trapped.
Must. Must get out. I guess I could have. <sighs> Escape from Alcatraz. That was a good movie. But I seem to be faster today for some reason. I'm unusually fast. Got a neat trick there. Gotta play G5 first. so easy to blunder isn't it collect me some pawns <laughs> the pawn storm. Yeah, this went wrong. He was doing pretty well, though. I think at the critical position, when we were talking about those bishops, I didn't feel like I was the aggressor. I feel like I was just, like, getting out of the way, like, scattered in fear. <laughs> like, these bishops are like pigeons in a park where, like, somebody's walking by, disturbing them. WJ Loof. Wow, this is still theory. Holy crap. WJ Loof for all the beer in the world. 500 bits. 500 pride bits. Thank you. Wow, we're still in book. Can you believe that? I moved 12. And he's following book. And I now play the novelty with F5. See how the novelty works on the novelty meter. Novelty meter is not very high. F5 must like lose by force. Rublevsky versus somebody. Wow. I don't even know who that guy is. Boyan Vukovic. Just another Serbian Grandmaster. I had never even heard of him. Serbians probably have. So F5 is like a horrible blunder. It's basically a horrible blunder. All right. Hey, it's Miro. He did a Sumahair. I mean, again, it's like Sumahair had five blunders and one inaccuracy. Hey, it's Miro has zero inaccuracies zero mistakes and three blunders a lot of see i don't make as many blunders but i do make a lot of inaccuracies we're getting you guys are like no inaccuracies just big blunders that's the only reason why i'm like an international master i make less blunders than most people i just make smaller mistakes um They call him 007. F5. I don't like this position, man. Yeah. This is bad either way. What did I do wrong? Ah, here we go. So I have to play F5 first. Wang, Hao, David Navarro, Alexei Dreyev. Oof. So that's the secret move to stay alive. I feel like I'm playing the goddamn Aliakin's defense here. This is passive. Really passive. Alright. Schieberspieler. Yeah, they were talking about Formula One. Again. Driv goal. Be afraid.
But I was saying, Shear Spiller, earlier that I'm playing the Carol Khan here and nobody plays the main line. I, I, I have no practice at all. Like, if I go to a tournament tomorrow, I'm just going to get crushed one game after another where everyone plays, like, the main line. Because no one plays it online. At this level, at least. I need practice in that. Everybody plays the advanced variation. 6A6. Followed by C5. Shear Spiller theory tip on Karo Khan. Someone asked me about this move earlier. So many, playing with so many pieces down. Oh, playing with so many pieces doesn't feel right. Yeah, I know you're out there, Morales. We'll wait for you, don't worry. So we went over one of my students' games in this line. This week. That, see, that's the move you played before, right? I, I mentioned this, but there was a problem. Oh yeah, bishop a6. Oh, this thing. Right. See, that's what I thought. Oh yeah, you could just do g3. That's what I thought. But bishop a6 is a problem. Mad Ramus, welcome. WJ Loof. Cooking Rooks was visiting earlier. Right, a novelty is a chess move that has not been played before. I did my homework on this variation. Last time I played wrong, I played bishop b7. But that's hardly the reputation. Now what do I do? Trying to trade pieces? The Schieberspieler philosophy. I mean, I play the Bogo with bishop a6 sometimes, but I never thought to play it in that position. Can I play on mobile with you? You should be able to challenge me on the mobile. Um, I never do that. But someone here might also do the same. Blunder. Is this a blunder? We could do a, a, a Hey It's Miro like exchange sacrifice. But I think this is okay. The question is... We play an exchange sack like in the Catalan with queen d4. That's pretty evil. Pretty evil. And now white is lost. Queen takes d4. Or, perhaps better just come back here. Sheber Spiller, are you here? Do you have a, an event today? Did I see? It's on the screen. On the screen? Oh, on Friday, okay. I'm like looking around for a screen about Sheber Spieler's event. Where is the screen? My name is on the screen. You're not watching the stream? <laughs> 
It's hopeless. He has like a Murloc name. I feel like I'm playing Hearthstone. Alright. You can challenge me. As expected. The secret Queen C5. All planned in advance. No friend requests. No Tinder. Don't swipe right on my profile. His side is starting to look like just 960. I agree. Guys, just a reminder to those of you that weren't here yesterday, I'm going away on Wednesday for a week vacation. Why does it sound like a Will Smith song or something? Anyway, I think I'm singing DJ Jazzy Jeff or something. I don't know, but it was meant to be, um, whoops, a serious comment. Um, I'm going away for a week vacation. Tomorrow, no, Wednesday. We are hosting a blitz tournament tomorrow night, guys. All right, that fell apart quickly. He was unprepared for Bishop A6. Bishop A6 is the refutation. Yeah, this was our preparation. Just figured this out. This is a huge hole. In the line, so White's probably better off playing the passive, reverse Nimzovich, Rubenstein Nimzovich, passive masters, with e3. But I mean, Schieberspieler plays Bishop d2. He probably knows this. It's not a real. It's not. It doesn't even have a name. You know, this variation. Good for me. Yeah, man. I need to get a break. I've had too much stress. All right, so Cheesy Noob and, and Morales are in, but I think Morales has been kicked out of the list like a hundred times. Schieberspieler checked his notes. Yeah, G3 is no good because of Bishop A6. Schieberspieler, are those notes for white or notes for black? Is that your secret Bishop D2? Your secret Bishop D2 backup line. You studied with Branda Zuniga. Offbeat things that no one knows. All right. No. Just. Just for the the odd draw with the Grandmaster or something. Morales really playing the Grunfeld. No, Morales is playing the King's Indian. Wow, King's Indian and Grunfeld. Alright. I used to play classical King's Indian, but I don't like it in Blitz. It's just too close. I guess I, I, I like can't. I'm not sure if I get challenges from like anonymous players. Oh no, the bishop g4. What is that? 
Bye bye. No soup. Marijuana style. The Bishop G4 Kings in the end is revitalizing. Good luck against Schieber Spieler. Revitalization. This looks like a Sheber type position. Yeah, we know about that. Caruana giving up his bishop. That was major YouTube development. So, I mean, this this is basically an unusual move. But it may not be that bad. White well, should be slightly better. Oh, you're just going to give it up like that. Direct the mundo. Direct the mundo. Okay. But maybe I shouldn't trade queens. Wouldn't you say? What if I don't want to trade queens? It's a revolution in, in the King's Indian Bishop G4 defense. White should be better somehow. But Morales loves the e5 square. He's he's basically playing the Budapest Gambit. No matter what you do, it doesn't really matter. But honestly, it doesn't seem that easy. Of course, like with the two bishops versus two knights, there could be situations where I can lose a pawn, for example, and still be having enough compensation. If the position opens up, you could be in a lot of danger. You have to take care here. Miralis and I are at 379. This is 380th game. 400 doesn't seem like um, it doesn't seem like the spectacular um, you know milestone like like 500 500 will have to have a special special Morales based stream um, but but we're at 380 games now thanks guys for following Morales 380 games a lot bishop takes how do I get myself sorted out here sort sort it out with the bad bishop good bishop bad bishop versus two good knights very tricky cares nothing we've got follows from 
I... Azula cares nothing. Short stream today, just two hours, guys. We have for one more hour. Oh no. Morales walked into the the diagonal of death. I am sparring games are priced around ten to fifteen dollars. You're from Myanmar? Really? You have internet? That's good. I would assume they would like block the internet off completely or something. Poor Morales blundered, placing his rook on d8. Bad square anyway. You're in exam? But let's see how you were doing before the blunder. Oh man, that's a blunder. So check it out, he's plus 0.6. Black is better after an 85. Duh. I have to lose the pawn. I mean, this is what I'm talking about. It looks like I have to be down a pawn. Pawn sack to keep the, the the dynamic bishop pair on the board. Weird. This has never been played before. One game from 1998, Budapest. So what the heck? Gubski versus Antipov? Antipov lost to Gubski? Guy's a good player. What is going on here? Oh, so this is queer. He did... He did... Bishop g4. He did Bishop g4 after e5. I'm used to playing against Bishop g4 here. So this is like some kind of... Hybrid. But is this what Caruana did? So bishop e3 is just a mistake. Yeah, I had a game with this guy Craig Jones once. He's a master from North Carolina. We had something like this. So that's a big mistake by me. I'm just not playing a lot of classical Kings Indians lately. But I have to play d5. You sure Caruana didn't play bishop g4? That's the normal move. You know, then on bishop e3, then you can do this, this. You confused me. I've never had anyone play that before. I think even Craig Jones did this. But after bishop e3, somehow he let me like trade his white square bishop off. My last game was with Walter Whip and I played knight g1. Yeah, but I don't know that. That's weird. e5, castles, bishop g4, and then I'm keeping attention. This is already a mistake, it looks like. Rookie 8, Gubski, Antipov. White has to play Queen C2, guard this. And Antipov was playing black. He's a creative player. Should have played Knight D7. Maybe we can get your Caruana style stuff. Like this. Basically the same thing. I have to sack a pawn again. 
So all roads lead to Rome. Like White sacrificing a pawn at some point for the two bishops against two knights trying to open up the game. It looks like. Otherwise, I have to play d5. Cheesy new. Re was resubbed yesterday. Bad player trying. Also a sub. Let me know if you guys are subscribers to the stream. Bad player trying. This is 5 plus 3. Trying to make the Karakhan work. Nobody plays the main line. Like my last 25 Karo Khans. It's either the advanced creation, the two knights. But at least this is like a transposition to a sort of main line. A3 is is new. New to you. <clears throat> I don't know what A3 is about. He's pairing B4, B5. Sad for you is me. Sad is depressed. You're not alone, my friend. He's going to sacrifice the exchange or die trying. I mean, maybe I, I don't know. This is not such a great move. More aggressive. Why be greedy? Life is too short to be greedy. He wanted me to take the exchange so he has some big counter chances. Materialist grabs that rook. But I don't want to be so one dimensional. White's king side is compromised. Any other subscriber challengers? I'm declining anything other than 5 plus 3. Sad for you, you're challenging me to unlimited. Yeah, I mean, I think now I should take this. The time has come. Defense. The defense rests. How dare you defend? I'm 
I'm trading queens. There's still practical chances. <sighs> Didn't see how to mate him. If he takes, though, I have really powerful outside pawn. Four on two. Not that dissimilar to an earlier game we had here. That's a good move, in a way. Oh, man. What if I pin it? Sorry, you guys have to do the challenging. We've got a list here. All right. I'm running out of gas. Just right click on my name on the site and challenge me. If you like mosquitoes. We didn't have much rain here this past couple weeks, so we're good on the mosquito front. If you like heat, this is the place to be. Um, Budapest. Mad Ramus, you're leaving us? You would have been the next challenger. Guys, I got 45 minutes left. I wish you had told me earlier. All right, man. Thanks for tuning in. Not defending the central pawn. Must defend. Raid is coming, wow. Feta Master. Long time no see. Feta Master. Fide Master Dennis Arman. Coming with a raid. A very rare morning raid for my stream. Raiding with a party of 24. Welcome raiders. You live in sub-Arctic. Fedemaster lives in Sweden. Yearly average temperature, oof. Yeah, man, it's like 90 degrees Fahrenheit here. Thank you, Fedemaster. Great to see you. I hope everything is going well. Thanks a lot for the raid from Fedemaster. Good to see him. All right, I'm trying to move again. <laughs> Got distracted. Fedemaster raid. Thank you. Guys, check out his stream. Thanks to get a morning raid. I generally do better with the evening streams. Man, I want to go 
to somewhere where it's cool. I used to go to the northeast in the US, which wasn't that bad. It was about 10 degrees cooler than here by Fahrenheit. But now I'm, I'm staying in Hungary for the summers. Wow, all right. It's like a Scandinavian with G6 or something. It's quite an unusual opening by Black. I've never been to Sweden or Finland, sadly. Been to Denmark and Norway. But there's still time. All right, what are we gonna do? Um, this looks like a problem. Maybe I go bishop c4? Not my normal thing. I, I don't know, this position is just a weird game. b5, I just gave him b5, bishop d5. Is it a Sicilian? Is it a modern? Is it a Scandinavian? I'm not sure what to think here. I'm gonna play queen f3 on the next move. Maybe not. Now this knight, I have e5, knight g4. e5, knight g4, e6. Quite interesting. Bishop takes f7 check. That's not working. Is this sound? We sent the e pawn into motion. White does have a significant development lead. Justify this. To justify this craziness. If knight takes e3, I just simply think about it. <laughs> I guess I'll take on f7 check. So I'm giving up a very valuable piece here. But the damage would be done on Black's king side. Yuho, I always joke how when I was a kid, we had Finnish neighbors next door. And I was friends with the. They, they were like. first and second generation. So. The parents were like from Finland, but they moved to the United States when they were young. And then their son was basically American. But I remember the father, who was originally from Finland, he used to like, he had a sauna in his basement. He, he created a sauna in his basement. And that's a big tradition there, right? Once my dad almost died, like drinking vodka with his neighbor in the sauna or something. Sauna and vodka. Anyway, that was the story of my Finnish neighbors. E6, F5. It's probably not really safe to drink vodka while you're in the sauna. Um, E6. What do I do? F5. I missed this. Knight takes F5, H3. Knight takes F5, H3. There's no tricks or anything. He's actually threatening F4 now. So what the heck? What am I gonna do? <sighs> Man. I don't know what to do, honestly. I'm just gonna get out of here. 
Beer is better. Milder. Drink it before it evaporates. You don't want to do two things that like dehydrate you at the same time, basically. Drinking and sauna. Yeah, I don't like giving out my bishop, but what am I supposed to do now? That was a simple and good defense. He just has f5. Now I feel like I'm overextended. Okay, it's not easy to play black. He played king f8. It's a take back. All right. Clearly he meant the castle. It's a casual game. I don't mind doing like one take back if it's an obvious mouse slip. We allow take backs for what is clearly a mouse slip. Some people have like a no take backs ever rule. I respect that. But since my stream is basically an instructive one, I'm not playing for blood. That bishop was going to get attacked at an inconvenient moment on c4. F4, I have queen takes knight. This is protected. But how to make progress, I have no idea. My white has no plan, no way to break through. This knight is killer. H3 just weakens my king's side. I guess the whole plan was faulty. You know, you have to go back to this position after knight f6 and... Probably white, white should just play like h3, prophylaxis. That would be my normal move, frankly. Frankly, my dear. You see, that bishop was on c4 right now and I have a real problem. Like, there would be mate and queen takes bishop. That's what you're trying to avoid with the preemptive bishop b3. <clears throat> now, there's another, another problem. Not really. <coughs> all right, I think we're all right. Now we've got knight d5. Don't forget to write. I have threats too. Yeah, that's basically my only my only strength in this position. The d5 square. The e7 pawn is critical. He loses that, he's gone. So I have bishop g5. If bishop f4, queen c5 hits my knight on d4. Not so easy. There is rook c1, also a good move. But this gets my bishop out of take on e3. We got time for some more games. I'm streaming till a little after one o'clock today. Lukash. Okay, Lukash is cool. Engine Chess. Well, that's a great name. <laughs> Very warming to the soul. And Yosip. Horsey. Horsey play. Thanks to the raid from Dennis Armand. 
We had um, Fed a Master Raid. Yeah, it's risky play for black, so you need to be like really accurate. I play Carol Khan today, I'm a little bored with that. And I never get a true Carol Khan main line. Learning chess, welcome. Sicilian Sozin attack can be played against both the Night Orf and Classical. And I played this a lot with white. And that gives you a... I think you get a much more well-rounded approach to openings when you, you're used to playing a position from both sides. Your perspective is, is much more... much deeper. And you've, see, you've seen the board from both, both sides. I feel like I play these pretty well. Of course, he doesn't have to castle kingside. He can also play queen e2 and castle queenside, the so-called Velimirovich attack. Basically, Lukash is, is playing the way that Fischer played. He liked castling short and playing for like f4, f5. Not a very trendy system. See, this is unusual. You would normally only do queen e2 if you're going to do like castles long to get the, the queen out of the way and, and launch the G pawn. To play queen e2 with castle short, I've never recalled facing that move. It's probably not that bad. I could play like d5 or even knight c4. But whatever. It's a castle kingside Velimirovich. Quite unusual. Thanks everyone who subscribed. It's like Sad finally made a challenge. He's got another game. Good luck with your game. Everybody, we're going to be hosting a tournament tomorrow night at 645 CEST. I'll make that um, Swiss tournament today and set it up. 645 start tomorrow night. That'll be my last stream for a week. I'm coming back on the following Thursday. Thursday the 30th. Thursday, no. Thursday the 1st of July. Is that right? I'll be back on Thursday the 1st of July. We'll have a Sunday 4th of July. We'll have a Sunday 4th of July um, simul stream. Acerbate. Patriotic simul stream. I'm kind of depressed. Because I'm, I'm not home in America. A4 is not a bad setup. All right, so this starts to make some sense for white. What am I doing? I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'm close to losing. <laughs> Wonderful. What time is it now in your country? Well, I live in Hungary. It's now 12.30 p.m. We're Central European summertime. But my other country, my home country, it would be 6.30 a.m. I haven't been back to the United States since 2019. There he had, he had Queen C4. And this is a serious problem. 
queen c4, bishop d7. I don't know if white has some sort of tactic with like knight to d5. I mean, it's very possible that you were virtually winning for white. With queen c4 and knight d5. Please, no, no surprises. I don't know, I'm gonna have to, uh, I live in Budapest. I'm gonna have to, um, careful here. I know that there's a relationship between Finnish and Hungarian. I'm not a linguistic expert, but you know the the historical theory was that there's some tribes that separated thousands of years ago or whatever whatever the time frame would be. I'm not sure exactly, and some went north and some went south or whatever the finno Ugric language family. Exactly. He's trying to hurt me. This is my one of my tensest games today. Night is, is sad. It's sad on E8. How does he castle kingside with queen e2 in a sozin? Like, where does the setup even come from? It's crazy. Just like made it up. What? So I've got very little access to the F7. It looks like White is freaking out. Now I'm not gonna not gonna do take backs every game for every mistake. Last time it was like an obvious mouse slip. I'm not gonna do that. In the tense position, where it's not an obvious mouse slip, I'm not going to do a take back. You played the move and then you decided you didn't like it, but... The last case was the guy played king f1 instead of castling. We all make moves that we regret. <laughs> but it's a blitz game. Wow. f5. Scary position. I don't know what's happening here. I might be losing. I have a plan though. Maybe too late though. For the plan. Very scary position. Knight f5. So, first of all, he has knight takes e6, and I have knight c4 there. Secondly, he has the super scary queen somewhere on the f file. In which case, I probably have to play knight c7 and like let him check me on f7, and I have no idea if I'm losing. This move is also scary. I hadn't even considered it.
It's pretty incredible, isn't it? Threatening mates. So I have to play this. Not to get mated. Unbelievable position. Just like crazy attacking move after attacking move. I can never have a threat. Oh, it's me. Wow. Check this out. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. I don't know. It might be an engine. Played an unassuming opening with like a perfect game after that. No inaccuracies. Maybe not a perfect game. There was a mistake. But, you know, you just can't tell anymore. I mean, I'm not gonna cry it's a computer every time. But I mean, overall, I don't like this game. It was zero zero one blunder. I don't know. That's definitely a sus game. Super sus. Do I really have to play engine chess next after that game? Okay, we have a subscriber challenge from Yevgeny. You had to get some coffee, they were playing summertime. <laughs> That's a funny coincidence, WJ Loof. Mentioned that earlier. Oh man. It's not the 28 cent upon loss, he made a blunder. But when you have a complex game like that with zero inaccuracies and all those tactics on the board, I wouldn't want to play any more games with that guy. But you'd have to really, you know, I'm not gonna report somebody for cheating until I, I researched all their games and stuff. I really don't don't like having to, to do that. 
But if people are gonna strike like stream snipe me and cheat with engines, um, I will research it and and report them if if I suspect that they're literally they literally cheated. Um, there's something weird about this move order. Yeah, I mean he might be human, but I kind of doubt it. In that game. No inaccuracies, like no little mistakes, like the whole time with all the pieces hanging all over the board. Like that's the only reason he's 28 cent upon loss is because apparently he made one major blunder at one point. But, you know, human is more likely to make a number of small inaccuracies. So I made a bad move order here. Um, I'm supposed to play knight on bd7 and I castled. So now I'm stuck with a kind of passive position. I I am not watching the Euros, so I gotta work. But I did pay attention to the results. Just I'm American, you know. Though I live here, I'm not really a football fan. Yevgeny. I don't know. I rarely report people for cheating. I don't play a lot of Blitz off the stream, and people are pretty good about not cheating on my stream once in a while. But again, I would have to research all of his games before I reported him. I need to see, like, a pattern and be able to like prove it, you know, at least to some degree. I can't just report someone based on one game. But if you do it multiple times, I mean, I'm going to catch you. I guess bishop about 5. Oh man, Yevgeny, Yevgeny, Yevgeny. Call my bluff here. White is just better. Bishop f5, knight h4. So I guess I just have to suck it up and be worse. But we're we're solid. We're we're a solid worse here. Nice bishop on the long diagonal. As I said earlier, I messed up my move order. Yevgeny is really strong, strategically. But it seems like since Lee Chess became so filled with players and, and stuff, I don't think they're, 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 they're paying as much attention to, to catching people who are cheating. And it's also becoming harder to detect because people are becoming smarter about doing it. You know, it was easy when people would just like play every move the engine suggested and, and then you could just like catch them. But now they're smart enough to like make to make bad moves, mix them in and, and make it harder for people to, to know they were playing against an engine. It's gonna reach the point where I think it's virtually indetectable. But I would never play serious chess online. I don't think I would pay money to like enter a tournament that was online ever forget about it Yevgeny is tough he's a real deal very solid man this is torture for me What can I do? Please draw. Bad Bogo. I'm going downhill. I was playing pretty well, but last game.
I mean, I don't remember the last time I reported someone for cheating. It's sad, though. You sort of get to the point where you were like, why even bother? I used to be more dil dilettant about it. Diligent, dilettant, dilettant. I used to be more diligent. Dil dilettant, maybe. But I've got better things to do than run around like trying to figure out if my random opponent cheated in a like online stream blitz game. All right, Yevgeny, bring it. Do your worst. I'm <laughs> battening down the hatches. He's fast too, though, which makes him tough to deal with. Man, this is this is kind of ugly. I feel like I'm in a sp space. Compressor. Nice night on D8. That's bad. But it could resurface over here. If he plays D5. He doesn't really want to do that. My other knight has no squares. We'll need H6, knight H7. So I can like go off to the side of the board. The, and the emphasis is on him. The onus is on white to do something, though. Guys, check out my Discord. Please don't forget to subscribe, support the stream. Placing my pawns on, on the dark squares. Maybe I should play ninety six there. I think objectively, you know, he is content with a very small advantage. But I'm not sure if he should trade pieces, theoretically. Do I have knight g5 there? Last move? How does he break through? Oh yeah, dongers. Move 11 gifted you a sub. Yeah, I'll thank him for you. What?
Evgeny lost the thread. We had a lot of generous support yesterday. Not just from Move 11, from some of the others. Cooking Rooks, Astrobate. Hey, it's Miro, Mr. Coffee. I know I'm forgetting somebody, but now the list is down. Alright, technical Brook in game. Very. I don't know about this one. The B pawn should probably be my best. C pawn isn't bad. But if you ask me, like, theoretically, is it a draw or a win? I'm not even sure. These kind of endings are very technical. Like the slightest thing could make a difference between a win and a draw. I think theoretically the B pawn is the best pawn. The Brook pawn is bad. That's usually a draw. The C pawn's a little closer, but I've seen Grandmasters lose this end game. I mean, I've seen wins and I've seen draws. Yeah, it's not so easy. All right. What do we got? We got time for one more game. So I guess, <laughs> let's play Joseph. Engine Chess is playing another game. It's probably, I don't know. Every one of those in games is very much, um, I don't know, case by case basis. Four against three with the with the C or B pawns is pretty complicated. Knight or rook pawn I mean knight or bishop pawn. Those are the toughest ones. Okay guys, last game I gotta go. I'll be back for Blitz Tournament tomorrow night or Rapid Tournament tomorrow night.
Yeah, Brittle Rick, of course, like, you should never lose that. You had perfectly great position, and, um, a little bit headed down to a draw when you let me win a pawn. This is an unusual line. I've seen other people do this, but it doesn't seem really safe for black. Thanks, Yuho. Black lost a piece here. I try to be instructive. Black's just playing too fast in this one. You're playing in a really big open in Kiev. Oh. Old guy. Two years break. Um. Well, I think, Edward, I mean, you're a strong player. You're obviously positional more than tactical. Maybe try to brush up on the tactics. You know, I mean, I feel like your, your strategic game is, is high level. We can all improve tactically. But maybe you should try to do a lot of puzzles. You play pretty quickly um, when you need to. You know, I would try to sharpen myself tactically if I were you if you add that element to your game you know in addition to your good sort of strategic understanding you'd be much more dangerous I feel like you you're similar to me in that respect sometimes being kind of lazy tactically or or not uh, not calculating as much as playing strategic chess so I'm not saying you should try to play crazy tactics or anything, but try to practice your tactics, improve your, your calculation speed a little bit, if you could. Because I think strategically you're a very, very strong player. All right, guys, I got to go. Um, I will be back on Tuesday. Thanks, everyone, for showing up. Thanks for the raid from Fedamaster, and I will be back tomorrow for the last stream before vacation we will not be here between 23rd and 30th of june take care everybody bye bye